Now, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create different routes for your API. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a simple API and provide data to my front end. I'm going to access this API data using Exios request. So, I'm going to first create different routes inside this project and then we're going to pass different data to the different request. So, let's create a simple route. Instead of creating a route file inside this server folder, I'm going to create that in a dedicated folder. So, I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to name this router and inside this router folder, I'm going to create a new file with the name router.js. Now, because we are following the MVC pattern to create this backend server, we're going to create a dedicated folder for all the different modules. For example, in the MVC pattern, we create a controller in the controller folder, we create a module inside a module folder, then we create a views inside a views folder. So I'm going to create a folder for the route and inside that, I'm going to create a file called router.js. And at the top here, I'm going to simply say constant router is equal to, and then I'm going to require express. As you know, we're not going to create an instance of this express. So instead of just express, I'm going to call here a method of express, which is router like this. Now using this method, we can create a router inside this file. So just out of that, just down here, I'm going to say router dot get. And inside this get request, I'm going to first specify the root route, specify comma here, and then I'm going to call here request and response parameter. And to this request and response, I'm going to specify response dot JSON. And this time I'm going to return the JSON data with this request. So I'm going to specify here a message router request. Just for that, I'm going to just say here module dot exports is equal to router. Let me save this file back to the server.js and instead of this app.get, I'm going to get rid of this statement and here I'm going to create a command and say routes and just down here, I'm going to say app.use and inside it, I'm going to specify the path of this API. So as a first parameter, I'm going to specify here forward slash API. So whenever you want to access your data, you need to pass the API route for that. And inside that API route, you have different endpoints. So this is the API and this is what we call the endpoint. Let's suppose if I have here login. To access this login endpoint, we need to pass API in the URL. So once I specify API as a first argument, I'm going to specify here require statement and inside it, in the single code, I'm going to specify dot forward slash specify router folder and then I'm going to specify router file. Let me save the changes. Open my terminal. You can notice my server is running on localhost 4000. Let me open my Postman testing tool. And now let me test this API. So as you know, if I try to make a request on localhost 4000, I'm not going to get anything because I don't have any route on this port. Now I have a simple API and inside that API, I have an endpoint called login. So just out of this 4000, I'm going to specify here API and specify forward slash again. And then I'm going to specify login here. Now this is a type of get request. When I click on the send button, you can notice I'm going to have here a message router request. So this will just send a response from this API endpoint. That's super easy, right? To create an API inside Express application. As you know, we are following the MVC pattern. So let's create the controller for this route. As you can see here, we just specify a callback function as a second parameter to this get request. I'm going to separate this callback function and create a dedicated file for that. So I'm going to get rid of this callback function from here and I'm going to create a controller to the, for this API. So I'm going to create a new folder inside this server and I'm going to name this folder controller. And inside this controller, I'm going to create a new file with the name controller.js. That's about you. You can specify any name to this file. Inside this file, I'm going to put the controller of this routes. Inside this controller, I'm going to simply create a controller for login. So I'm going to say here controller for login. And just down here, I'm going to say exports dot login. I'm going to export the login function. So I'm going to create here a variable called exports login is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here a function with request and response parameter. And then I'm going to pass here curly braces. And inside that, I'm going to say response.json. And here I'm going to say message 
and I'm going to say here controller response. That's it. Save this file back to the router.js and let me import this controller here. So I'm going to say here constant controller is equal to and in the require single quote double dot forward slash specify here controller folder inside that I have controller file. So I'm going to specify that here and just out of that I'm going to specify my controller this one to this route. So as a second argument right here I'm going to specify controller dot login. That's it. Let me save this file. Let me save this file as well. And now let me just make a request on this login route. And now when I make a request on this login API endpoint, you can notice I'm going to have here a message controller response. So now the response is coming from this controller. Now just out of that, let me create an endpoint for the register. So at the top here, I'm going to say router dot post. Now this is going to be the post route. So I'm going to say here post forward slash and then I'm going to specify the endpoint register. That's upon you. You can specify any endpoint here. Specify here comma and then specify here controller. Now let me create a controller inside this controller file. So at the top here I'm going to say comment and say controller for register. I just sound here. I'm going to say exports dot register user is equal to and then I'm going to call here request and response parameter and then I'm going to pass here a function. Inside that I'm going to just simply say response dot json and in the double quote I'm going to specify here an object and say message in the double quote I'm going to say here register user response. Let me save this file back to the router and here I'm going to pass controller dot register user. That's it. Save this file back to the postman testing tool and now let me just make a post request on the endpoint register. When I click on the send button you can notice I'm going to have here a message register user response. So as you can notice we successfully created a simple API in the back end. In the next lecture we're going to create a controller of this endpoint and pass data with a request.